All right, let's start with the paper review now, mm -hmm. bringing you the headlines across the papers in Nigeria. Uh, we have joining us commentator Obani Akinwale. Lee, good morning. It's good yeah. to see you. Good morning. Right. Let's start with the Punch newspaper. Graft mm -hmm. would end until justice catches up with corrupt leaders, showing music for the breakfast show as it continues. All right, let's start with the paper review now, mm -hmm. bringing you the headlines across the papers in Nigeria. Uh, we have joining us commentator Obani Akinwale. Lee, good morning. It's good yeah. to see you. Good morning. Right. Let's start with the Punch newspaper. Graft mm -hmm. would end until justice catches up with corrupt leaders, showing Kai saying that. And uh, Serap Kako, CD Bach Nobel laureate. He paid a visit to uh, EFCC headquarters recently, mm. and uh, he was asking the EFCC acting chairman, where is the VIP cell? I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> and there was none. And there was none. He <laughs> said all uh, suspects are treated equally. Unfortunately, uh, yesterday I was watching the, we're having the West Africa, no, Commonwealth mm. Head of Anti-Corruption Agency exactly. in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and I could see Prof in his usual manner mm. asking that until we have the likes of uh, former former president in cell, we are not yet there. The reality is, if you look at uh, most organized society, they don't care about your status. Once you run far of the law, mm. you face the wrath of the law. But like uh, Senator Sunny who said, he said, we all deodorize people <laughs> close to us. So I use a fleet on those that are against us. Of course, so Rika has said that the EFCC should go after the leaders exactly, exactly. i think leaders. that's where that, that's With where the that's where got. the main thing is yeah. really exactly. all right uh, we have uh, troops rescue old man from boko haram you can see the picture there mm. uh then the banker links fire shade to 1.2 billion era allegedly collected from dasuki well, we're not through with Dasuki yet, no, I no, guess. No, no, we're not. Yeah. A lot of revelations yeah. still Definitely coming out here and there. It will not be true, and fortunately, we are getting close to Ekiti. Mm. So, exactly. the revolution will start happening. We'll st <laughs> and people that have collected money or that have spent the money will start coming out to say one or two things. And since they are sure that uh, in the next six months or thereabout, there will be no immunity for Governor Relief Ayoshi again. Mm. So, everybody has to come out clean that this is what I know. Yeah, about but it. the question on many lips is I mean, why now? Why, it's why for the election, like you said. Oh, okay. It's because of the election. Oh, yeah. It's there because of the election. Now, okay. DC are injured, vehicles vandalized as Shiites police clash. Mm. Well, this is an issue that a lot of people have said that uh, if, if not handled well, can degenerate into a Boko Haram situation. Absolutely. Mm. A lot of that's, uh, I'm, I'm happy that the Nigerian police force is trying to change their recruitment process at the moment. And sincerely, yours, people need to do mental check. And if that care is not taken, we keep on having this recording of uh, jungle justices turning around to become militia group. And because people will naturally resist when they feel that they are being oppressed. Mm. And that is what's happening over there. All right. Uh, federal government begins repair of Lagos Abiokuta Expressway. I remember mm -hmm. there was a special report we did on that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, it was really this deplorable. This has actually been on the news for yeah, it's quite been on the a news while for now. Some time. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, I, government I hope, sees I a, hope a it's not going to, to be like what we used to have. The road was, uh, was first uh, was awarded in 1999, mm -hmm. 2000, mm -hmm. about 2006, 2010, mm -hmm. 11, 12, now 2018. Uh, and, and they said two and a half years. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that by 2020, We'll not have another award on the same Another route. award on the same road. <laughs> on the same well, finally, just before this, an interesting story. Two Nigerians batter fellow student over who has the richest dad. 
So if, if oh, that, I, 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 I watched the story yeah. online and <laughs> I was, what, what, are, what is this word what, turning exactly, into? What is, what is it really exactly, saying exactly. about? What is this word turning into? Students in not, their 20s arguing, with somebody my dad is richer than yeah. yours, and then it degenerates it's, into it's, that? It shows, uh, I would say it shows lack of morals or there's moral decadence in society. Mm. Uh, if the fathers are working to earn that as much, I wonder what kind of money they are passing across to their wards. Either they no, they are too busy making too money. much money so the while, while, while they leave uh, uh, the children, uh, you know, not uh, properly trained. Yeah. Okay, moving on very quickly to the nation. Ex-PDP leaders to Buhari shun ultimatum for uh, talks. Of course, uh, the ultimatum uh, ends today yeah. uh, from the NPDP who've been uh, alleging yes, marginalization yes. and all manner yeah. of... Um, uh, yeah. you what, know, what, what do you say with uh, uh, Senator Ablad? Um, is that mm. the man is so succinct when he writes. And if you look at when he chronicled a lot of things that happened in PDP, the likes of Nemasa DG, they call the Minister for uh, Minister for Transportation, is an ex-PDP president. And mm. You look at a lot of them that are claiming Saraki is ex-PDP, is the Senate president, Dogara is there, you have the Goji at, at the parliament, you have all of them there and they are enjoying what naturally would not have come to them if they are remaining PDP mm. to get on. Now they are now crime more than they believe. It's so unfortunate. So obviously now within the same NPDP, yes. there is another faction. So that's, that is that called NNPDP. All right, uh, Oshibajo, why loot recovery is tough? Of course, uh, he's been um, saying, look, uh, it's really difficult for v very, very uh, difficult. developing countries very, very to uh, repatriate yeah. funds. Anytime uh, you try to 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 look for uh, the politically exposed people mm. it is called we shunt in africa exactly so that's it's what it very is. very that's difficult for you to go after them and most people we when people steal there is no ethnic there is no religion mm. but mm. after stealing they start playing religious mm. card or ethnic card it's unfortunate and, and i just hope nigerians will be able to understand what is really going on because sometimes mm. they are the ones who are the first to raise yes. that that flag of yes. okay is because he's from here is because yes. he's from there or yes. something yes you yeah will. he's actually said that there's a need to reform the mutual legal assistance um it, yeah ag agreement uh, it, it, to make it a lot easier yeah it, 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 it every the, the reality is that united nation is representative of equal so mm. whatever law that is applicable in your country mm. might Should not be applicable in my country so if you go to UN Charter and we refuse to sign what the UN says, which you all do, you can't hold me because everybody have their own sovereign state. Mm. But it's unfortunate that outside that, our mutual legal system, but we should look inward and mm. create laws that will enable us to even treat our own local stealing mm. corruption issues. Before then looking we'll not, out. We'll not right. require okay, anybody. PDP, more is Dankwambo for president. Of course, uh, Dankwambo is the governor of uh, Gombe State. Mm. Uh, He's qualified. He's a former Akamanyara of the Federation. Mm -hmm. He's qualified, but is he popular? That's can he pull a number of cards in Kano and Kaduna? That's the point. In, in politics, will tell. anything mm. is possible. Time will tell. Well, PDP is <laughs> insisting will on getting the, the, the yeah, candidate Yeah, he has a clean the record. There's no doubt about mm -hmm. it. He's been doing wonderfully well in Gombe. But mm -hmm. notwithstanding, can he pull that crowd or can he compete with Buhari yeah. in right. terms of context of popularity? All right, let's move to the Daily Sun now. 2019, PDP woos APC members. Seconders to meet NPDP members in ruling party. That mm -hmm. is the most unfortunate thing I've ever had. <laughs> so it shows that there is no ideology. Everything in this country is just to capture power. If, uh, no, if, he said, he's saying come back home. This is which, where you always belonged home? in the first place. So the home they decided to destroy together, they should come back and rebuild it. Then after they, after they are unable to get what they deserve in the PDP, they come back. At what point do we start having political parties or politicians with ideology? Uh, well, the, the point there is... Rather than power grabbing. What we have is all set of power grabbers. That's all. Some analysts have said that this going back and forth are things that should have happened in the 70s and 80s if we didn't have the military, military incursion, incursion. So that our, yeah. our, our politics would have matured would have, yeah. by now. Mm. Uh, now we are running for almost 20 years. We are still cross carpeting everything. Exactly. So mm. I wonder when we'll stop crawling. Well, we hope we, we will soon. Okorocha loses again as APC goes ahead with local government Congress in Imo, governor boycotts exercise hopes for repeat election. Yeah, there are two sides to that story. Mm -hmm. One is there is already an established news that the police were able to apprehend some people with electoral material for mm -hmm. Imo state, mm -hmm. and there's another school of thought that believes that because Okorocha has spearheaded the federal the president Buhari that there should be no telling or elongation. Yes. So his owners of this world, or ego of this world, mm -hmm. are looking for a way to fight back. But let's see how it plays out because the president has not said anything. Oshiba is still meditating. But one thing I can tell you is that uh, the way the Nigeria system is configured, with the with the with the amount of wealth 
executive governors are sitting upon, mm. Okorocha is likely to have the day. Okay. Mm. Impeachment threat, police seal Kano Assembly. My fate in God's hand, says Speaker. The CJN wants judicial officers on uh, social media use and federal government not interested in conducting 2019 elections. Wiki mm. of River State is saying that ABC Fraka in River's show of shame, mm. Abe is saying that. Mm. Well, that's from the Daily Sun. That's interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. And moving on to the vanguard. Corruption started after me. Guess who's saying that? Go on. Go on. How did he become the, pres <laughs> how did he become the president? Did he become the, pre the, the uh, head of state chief. through uh, corrupt Exactly, means? because no. at that time the report said that he wasn't even the one who was supposed to be. That's what I'm saying, how did he become the president? So, so be when, when uh, you were put in a position where you are not supposed to be, what is that called? Oh, uh, what is it called? The, the reality, that's <laughs> what I'm saying, because the reality is if you, if you carry a hoe and you want to make a read, the reality is that you, go, you are going to face yourself. Mm. Mm. So that is exactly what he's doing. We all know what is happening. Even the military, you know mm. it's, uh, what part of this is all about. How do you, how do you, it's a chess game anyway, yeah. and whoever wins. Well, the, the issue of corruption okay. is always said, it is not only when monies are involved. Yeah. When, the moment due process no, is not, not involved, it's, it's corruption. All right, gentlemen, let me bring this right us. Mm. He also adds, we didn't know corruption during our time. Mm. It's a lie. Your government also guilty, Sage Musa Fasiung Okunomu, reply him. Exactly. Uh, we need solution, not blame game, Adebanjo. Uh, Okay. Yeah. They, thank God that <laughs> the, the problem we have is all these old men. They should stop talking. They should let us get it right and they should leave, they should leave the scene completely. <sighs> Bandits kidnap 87 passengers along Breningwari mm. Highway. So, so unfortunately, I read that story and uh, I keep asking, what is this turning, turning mm -hmm. into? And I wish the Nigerian police force would speed up the recruitment exercise. We are under police in this country. That is the reality. We have a population of a close to 180 million and less than 500,000 police officers. Yeah. How do you do that? Do and out of which 150,000 are already with politically exposed persons. Mm -hmm. So 180 million left with 350,000. What mathematics is that? So mm -hmm. if we get it right this time around, get more hands, security should be a priority of Holland. I'm sure we can minimize this bandit uh, robbery and all those things on our highways. Mm -hmm. It's so unfortunate. It truly is unfortunate. And patients grown as health workers strike persists. That's another unfortunate situation. Uh, Johisu have been on strike yeah. since April. Yeah, they are and asking uh, for some stuff with the federal government. They mm -hmm. have an agreement with the federal government. They are not asking the same as, as it. But one thing that I always ask is that where is that hold of security that was sworn by health officers to make life priority? It's so Even unfortunate. Even when they don't have what to work with? They have they, what to work with. They are asking for conditions more. Conditions are not They have what to work with and they are asking conducive. for more. If you, ask, if, you, if you ask ourselves... Are you saying the way the health sector is right now is good enough for these people to deliver on their hypocritical. This is, is, is not the way. It's not the, way, the amount of facility or money that's important to their sector. Mm. It's the practitioners. The reality is, is the fund the government is pushing into these sectors, going to these sectors. If okay. you go to government hospitals, you discover that you get. We are getting referrals to private hospitals where these so-called USU or NMA people practices to go for your medications. So the question is, you keep on mm. pumping money to these uh, institutions and individuals start making it as a source of making money. So and it's unfortunately, a system. Unfortunately, in the meantime, our politicians go abroad to take care of their health. Our president just so who from London. Is, uh, <laughs> who is losing at the end of the day? It's, it's the mass uh, Nigerians. All right. Femi Aribi Salah tackles systemic exploitation of the populace and asks, what happened to we the people? It's a must read. Mm. We the people on, on the Femi is always controversial. It's a first line in the Constitution. It's a controversial. All right, we have to yeah. run through the mm -hmm. papers so we can uh, be done with this. Mm. A new telegraph now says patients groan as workers strike paralyzes hospitals, teaching hospitals, medical centers, discharge patients. And you can see you boldly go. the pictures of uh, uh, General Hospital in Mina. Last when, week, they, when they resume UCH back from strike, won't they collect their salaries? General Hospital. Well, that's the that's one of the that's issues. That's the truth. The the the, the Minister uh, of Labour at the time was talking about the yeah. issue of uh, no work, no, no, no pay. Work, yes, no workers pay. has right, but we should also value life. And when this guy comes back from leave, they start asking government to pay them their employment for period they were not working. Mm. It's so unfortunate. Well, fresh plot mm. to invade National Assembly thickens. Obamake gave vows to mm. resume today, and 150 Delta youths move to Abuja for protests. There is no, no the National Assembly already released a statement yesterday that they are going to allow him inside, mm. uh, that we they wait until they hear their appeal tomorrow at the appeal court. And the appeal court, the, yeah, on they, Wednesday. See, they all know what is right. Mm. And that's why I said it's an institutional problem. Do you have right to some sense No. 
If you have disciplinary measure, what is your conscience? It's 14 days. Yes. Have you passed for that 14 days? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They know what is right. It's so unfortunate. It's okay. You know why they are, are doing really this? Sure it's because know... IGP has refused to obey them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure if IGP has obeyed them, they, were, they are trying to portray to us that uh, Senate abide by the rules, by the constitution, well. by the judiciary. <laughs> That's what they are trying to do. And unfortunately, it's too late. Too All late. right, finally from uh, the New Telegraph, Buhari, $320 million a batch of loot for vulnerable Nigerians. That's what we're doing. End power, end mm. this, uh, so borrow anchor the, program. They are the, the masses and are the ones, Nigerians or the vulnerable. poor. <laughs> in other places, they use the poor. The other captions say the poor. So uh, uh, well. the poor they are the ones to benefit because from Because some this. people live on less than a dollar a day. So actually, they are poor. And if you look at, there was a story I was watching on Gombe about the Almajiri schools in the north. You see those numbers of kids wandering the streets, mm. carrying plates and all what have you. They are indeed poor. Mm. And we need to help them. And if you don't do it now, we are looking for the next set of Boko Haram. Hmm. All right. That's from, okay. the, daily, um, from the new telegram. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, this day, a final paper. This morning, Senate to obey court order on Omar Gege's reinstatement. They don't have choice. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay. With the 2019 race wide open, where are Buhari's opponents? So mm. you have a picture here on mm -hmm. the headline. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you have to look at it. Buhari versus Atiku, Buhari versus Kwankwaso, Buhari. Okay, it's Buhari versus... Dunkwambo and, of course, Saraki. Is Saraki in the picture? <laughs> we didn't know that. Well, okay, and Chief Justice, of, attack so on much. Port Harcourt uh, Court, danger to democracy. Mm -hmm. You remember when Amichi, when the uh, uh, Honorable BP went to the parliament to go and use maids, the searches themselves, Honorable Chinda, mm -hmm. what was the judiciary Port Harcourt was doing? For two years, they were shut down, nothing happened. So there's always a precedence. And once you have that in place, mm. it's very difficult because they always make reference. This has happened before. So if this you don't stop again. a wrong somewhere, very soon it Our, will come We to have your very executive rascality at yeah. highest level in this country. It's so okay. unfortunate. Obani right. Yakinwale, Obani. thank you very much. Uh, social commentator joining us this morning on the paper. Uh, look at the headlines. I guess we'll be leaving you. We'll still be keeping you to look at our next topic. No, no, we'll no? let him go. Okay, we'll, we'll have to we'll let, let him go. go. Thank you. So you can enjoy your Tuesday <laughs> so you, morning. Yeah, so you can have uh, a great time on the wet, wet morning. Thank yeah. you very much for coming, Obani. Right. Let's take a breather and we'll be back for the next uh, first leg of the main discussion. Stay with us on TVC Breakfast.